Number sense is your overall understanding of numbers and their relationships. This understanding of numbers is built on a foundation of part whole thinking, which will lead into number bonds, place value, and also counting. You think of these three items as a foundation, and this foundation is holding up the house called number sense. Another way to look at number sense is like a sun. Number sense is like a sun, and everything you do in math, addition, multiplication, division, and subtraction, rotates around this sun. Your understanding and knowledge of numbers plays a part in how you learn addition, multiplication, division, and subtraction. Let's take a look at the first piece of our foundation, the part whole thinking. Hi everyone. What I wanted to do before we take a look at number bonds using pen and paper, I first wanted to show you the number bond theory using something in Singapore math called uh, a concrete representation. Uh, what a concrete representation is, it's basically the use of manipulatives. In this instance, I'm using craft sticks. These are some blue craft sticks that I've played at, that I've put out on the table. Um, I have five, one, two, three, four, five. And the reason you want to do this before you start using the paper and pen and looking at the equations is you kind of want to play around with the numbers yourself first before you look at equations. Let's, you first want to try to make sure you understand the numbers. This goes back to the number sense foundation that I mentioned to you earlier. So what it is is I have five sticks here. One, two, three, four, five. No matter what I do to these sticks, if I change them so that some of them are going this way and some of them are going that way, it doesn't change the fact that I have five sticks here. Okay, It'll always be five sticks no matter what I do in terms of changing the way the numbers look. It's still five sticks. When you're looking at the part whole theory, what the part whole theory is saying is that if you have a whole, in this instance, what I'm looking at now, my whole is the number five. So my whole is the number five. Within this five, I can break it apart into pieces. And that's the part whole. So for example, I have five sticks. If I take away two sticks, I'm left with three sticks. One, two, three. However, I want to get back to five. Well, I have the three. One, two, three. And then I just count. Three, four, five. So here are my parts. My first part was the three. My second part was the two. So three and two gave me five. And again, this is without using any equations or plus signs or writing it down. You just want to first familiarize yourself with breaking things apart using the concrete method, which is with manipulatives. If you, if you happen to have these types of craft sticks or if you have like wood sticks, you just want to use something that's safe um, and then you want, maybe want to put on a table or on a floor. Sometimes we can kind of spread it on, uh, out. In this instance here, it's on, my, it's on my table. And what you would do is you would take the manipulative, let's say, like again, for my instance, I had the craft sticks, and then I would just count them out and say it out loud as you're counting them out. So I, you would go one, two, three, four, and five, or whatever number that you're using. And then once you have the number, again, for my instance, five, now just kind of play around with the different ways that you can get back to that number five. I showed you a few, a couple of ways. Now let me show you another way. Let's say I take away three. So I'm going to take out three sticks. Okay, well, I have two sticks here. 
Okay, so then I just go two, three, four, five. And I got back to my five with two and three. Okay, or I could even take away, as I did before, take away four. Now I'm down to one. So I would just count. And again, you want to count out loud. One, two, three, four, five. So what were my two parts? Well, my two part was a one and a four. The one and the four gave me five. Okay? So you just want to kind of practice doing that first with the manip with manipulatives. Again, if you can, before you start the paper and pen. And don't forget, when you're doing these part whole theories, zero is also a part. So I could have a part where it's a five and a zero because zero is a number. So I have a zero and then I have five. Zero and five gives me five. So this is something that, you, again, if you have time, you, you want to practice with before going to the next level, which we're going to do in a few minutes, the paper and pen. And this is, again, this is to just help you to help reinforce the part whole theory where you will have a whole number. Again, in my instance, I had like the number five. And then you will physically break the number apart to see the different types of parts that you can use to create the number. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at part whole, but this time on paper and pen. See you in a bit.